Hey guys, what's up? This is iTechWan here. So 2018 is coming to an end soon, and it was a big year for Apple fans. We got the HomePod in February, a low-budget 9.7-inch iPad in March, a new MacBook Pro in July, three new iPhones and Apple Watch Series 4 in September, Mac Mini, MacBook Air, and an all-new redesigned iPad Pro in October. We might have one more Apple product in store before the year ends and that is a smart battery case for iPhone XS and XR models based on the latest leaks. But since 2019 is starting soon, we are already looking forward to the amazing products Apple will release in the new year, so I have tried to round up a list of all the possible devices to look forward to. Just to be clear, these are mostly speculations and some information comes from leaks, so nothing is set in stone. With that in mind, let's get right in. The first being iPhone SE 2. A lot of people were hoping for this phone to make its debut in 2018, but it didn't happen. The original iPhone SE was launched in March of 2016. The main purpose of this phone was to appeal to iPhone users that didn't want a dramatic update to the bigger screens like the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus at the time, but still wanted upgraded specs on a phone with a smaller display. The iPhone SE actually did very well on the market due to its performance, size, and budget-friendly cost. And now that we have even bigger screens from the 5.5 inch iPhone Plus models to the 5.8 inch iPhone X to 6.1 inch iPhone XR to the giant 6.5 inch display on the iPhone XS Max. It's time that Apple makes another smaller sized budget friendly iPhone with latest specs for users that don't want any of those large display iPhones. Although there is literally no leaks regarding the iPhone SE 2, the rumors have really built around it in the past year due to the success of the original model. It makes sense for Apple to release an upgraded version when its predecessor did so well. If Apple does decide to upgrade the iPhone SE, rumors say that the new one would get the iPhone X display design with Face ID and no home button, yet still come in the original iPhone SE body. Going based off the release of the original SE model, if an upgraded one is in line, then it could be released around March 2019. Next, the iPad Mini 5. Over a month ago, the reliable Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo predicted that Apple will release a new version of the 7.9-inch iPad Mini in 2019 with an upgraded processor, a cheaper price tag, yet no major design change so the home button will stay. Currently Apple is selling the iPad mini 4 that comes at the price of $400. This is the only iPad sold through Apple that doesn't have Apple Pencil support, so there's a possibility of that feature coming to the next iPad mini. Other possible features we'd like to see on the new iPad are true tone display, better cameras, ProMotion for a higher refresh rate, and USB-C. Like the iPhone SE 2, all of these are just speculations regarding the iPad mini with no major leaks yet, but Ming-Chi Kuo is really good at predictions and most of them come out to be true. 2019 may be the year that Apple launches its streaming service to compete with others like Netflix and Amazon Prime. Apple is investing billions of dollars in its own streaming service and is reportedly working on their original TV shows. Still not sure how much the subscription would cost or if they might make majority of the content free for Apple users, but the thing that makes us really look forward to this streaming service is that Apple might offer movies two to three weeks after their cinema releases, which would be awesome for movie lovers but not cool for movie theaters. There are rumors that the service is set to release in March of 2019. Keeping the streaming service in mind, Apple might release an Apple TV stick to distribute their streaming service to the mass audience, so you wouldn't have to own a single Apple device other than the TV stick yet still be able to use the service. There are rumors that Apple will launch the TV stick alongside the streaming service in March of 2019. It's been over a year that Apple unveiled the Air Power in September 2017 and it still hasn't reached the stores due to some overheating issues. Still no words from Apple, but maybe 2019 will be the year they finally show up alongside the wireless charging case for AirPods. There are speculations around Apple working on the HomePod 2, making a smaller and cheaper version of the original to compete with other speakers like Amazon Echo. You've got to agree that the price of the current HomePod is very high, so a much lower priced one with more improved speakers would be really nice. Reported by Bloomberg, Apple is working on an over-the-ear headphones and the rumor was backed up with a recent Apple patent that covers noise cancellation, so this is another Apple product to look forward to. The long-awaited AirPods 2 might finally make their debut in the first quarter of 2019 according to Ming-Chi Kuo. They might come with an upgraded chipset, Bluetooth 5.0, Siri voice command, and water resistant, yet still keep their original design. Ming-Chi Kuo has reported that the AirPods will get a complete new design in 2020 with various colors. Other Apple products that might make an appearance are a refreshed iMac, iMac Pro, and Mac Pro with improved displays, additional cores, Intel's new processors, and possible redesign. And lastly, we all know that Apple will release upgraded iPhones from the iPhone XS, XS 
10s Max and 10R. The new iPhones will most likely keep the same design from 2018 models, yet have smaller notches, possibly 3 lens rear facing camera on the OLED iPhones, have the A13 chipset which will increase performance and battery life from the predecessors, and possible charging port changing to USB-C from Lightning. So this is it for this video guys, let me know which Apple product you're looking forward to in 2019. I hope you all have a great rest of the year and hopefully you'll all stick around for more information as leaks of new Apple products start to appear. I try to make informative videos frequently yet straight to the point so make sure to subscribe to my channel to get quick and easy news around Apple products. So until next time guys, take care.